save some lives today. Yeah. I love you, Dr. Oz. of Orange County's Tamara Judge recently found a melanoma on her skin and she wants to spread the word that everyone needs to get checked. Check quickly, now do it. So before the show, dermatologist Dr. Denny Engelman and Tamara set up a pop-up mole clinic, the first of its kind for us. She did it backstage just with the folks in the audience who are coming here to watch the program. And they met Olga, who had a mole that Dr. Denny felt was worth getting checked. So how long have you noticed this mole and has it changed at all? Well, I've had this one my entire life, but recently the border has changed. It's starting to bleed out a little bit out of the perfect circular shape. That's why it's a concern. And the other one I showed the doctor was this one, which has two colors to it. It's very unlike the other moles on the rest of my body, mm -hmm. which are mostly light brown or beige in color. This one has a portion to it that is completely black. You, you know your moles. These are, yeah, these are <laughs> so, Dr. Engelman, <laughs> explain to us what... what about this, these moles in particular, and moles in general, we should be worried about. Yes, so Olga hit on two of the really important points that we talk about with patients every day when we talk about the A, B, C, D, E's of melanoma. So A is asymmetry, and if you can see here, if we cut her mole in half, it's not completely symmetric. No. Mm -hmm. B is borders. This is not well bordered. There's differences in the variation. C is color. We've got two different colors there. D is diameter. This is edging up on greater than six millimeters, which is the eraser end of a pencil. And E is evolving, which is changing. So she's hitting on a lot of the things that we would say, okay, maybe this is time to get evaluated. Same thing with this one, multiple colors. So Olga already is tapped into the ABCDEs and they're found on your Dr. Oz app, which is great if people need reference. But, um, you know, just like Tamara said in her story, the newest data for melanoma is showing that it's not necessarily an existing mole that's changed, it's a new one. And so when you said, I didn't have this a year ago, you were exactly right. So anything that's new or changing needs to be evaluated. It does not mean it's cancer. I don't want you to freak out, but I can take you straight to my office after the show if you want. I appreciate Hearing Tamara's story really makes me concerned. Yeah. yeah. Knowing that it's something that's so minor that could cause such a life-threatening, scary illness as cancer. So let me let me have the doctors mm -hmm. get out of this conversation because it's I think going to work better if folks who are already having the epiphany yeah. can talk to folks who are just waking up to the possibilities. Take it away, Tamara. Mm -hmm. One fair skin girl to another. Mm -hmm. um, you're sitting here, and the exact reason why I wanted to come forward with my melanoma is because so many people just don't know. And you seem very educated on your size of your mole and your shape and your color. Mm -hmm. Have you been seeing a dermatologist? I've seen dermatologists before, but I've never gotten my moles completely evaluated. Have you had just a being, full body check? I've not had that done ever in my life. And so you've never had any type of biopsy done on any mole? Um, or I've had a couple of moles removed. They were biopsy. They came back normal. So no issues there. I'm not trying to scare you. I promise. I'm not. I just... I should speak I'm to that. How, how, do you, how do you cope Does, with that possibility there's something growing on you like that? For me? Tam Tamari. Oh, my gosh. It's just... Um, it's hard in the sense that you have no control in what's going and what's growing on your body. And it's just early detection. And if everybody goes and gets their skin checked, and it doesn't matter if you're fair skin, dark skin, it doesn't matter. You can get melanoma, right? No matter. No matter. And you can get it on the bottom of your feet yeah. in places you can't even see. So you, it's very important. And I'm so glad that you're, I, I'm assuming you're probably going to biopsy this. Yes, I will biopsy those. And yeah. we'll do a Thank total you. body skin examination, too. Yeah. Great. Guys, I, mean, I, I really appreciate what you're doing. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you having me on so I can oh, help uh, me spread them. We're going to follow your story if you're okay with it. In fact, yes. we'll, we'll follow yours, too. Because yes. when, I wish when you folks, the best. Yeah, folks see real people going through it, they realize that it is a traitor. But you have the ability to get rid of this traitor. Yeah. You don't always have that flexibility. But yeah. this time you do. Yeah. Because the doctor Engelman's of the world will help you. Yeah. God bless you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you be sure to check her out Real Housewives of Orange County. It's on Bravo. I'll be yeah. right back. Yeah, so this one, I think we also need the biopsy because it's much darker than the other mold that you make there.